So Gemini in itself is not a bad sign, so to say. But when you have, and this is very interesting about the chart of this man, he has two completely different sections in his chart. Mm -hmm. He has a very successful, and it's hard to say that because I don't like to say that in terms of this person, but there is also something brilliant on one side and there is something utterly dark on the other side. So it means he's trying to navigate these two sides, never let them show off together. And from that perspective, you can say he's a typical Gemini in the worst sense of the word, because he's a double-faced personality. But on two extremes. Two extremes. Either totally good or totally bad. But he can't be totally good, because he has, he has a constellation. He has two constellations that are among the most successful constellations that somebody can have. It's called a trine between the sun and Jupiter and a sextile between Jupiter and the moon. Both are classical symbols or aspects of big success. But, and the other planet, this Uranus, makes him clever and tricky. Mm -hmm. So he knows how to navigate things in difficult times because he will always jump away from one situation into the other one. That means when I change position, you can't detect me anymore. 